beloved child, as you walk through life, remember that my love for you is unchanging and eternal. The scars on my hands are not just marks, they are symbols of the deep, everlasting love I have for you. Every time you face a challenge, look to me and know that you are not alone. I have walked the path of suffering, and through that, I gave you the greatest gift, my love. No matter what you go through, my love will always be your shelter and your strength. When you face trials, I want you to know that these moments are not punishments. They are opportunities to grow, to become stronger, and to draw closer to me. Do not be afraid, for I am always with you, ready to lift you up when you feel weak. I am your strength, and I will guide you through every storm. Trust in me, and you will see that even in the hardest times, my love shines the brightest. I know there are moments when you feel like giving up, but I am telling you now, don't let fear take over. My love is more powerful than any fear or anxiety you may have. When you trust in my love, you can face any challenge with confidence. Keep your heart focused on me, and I will carry you through the toughest battles. My love is a shield around you, protecting you every step of the way. My promises are true and unchanging. I have plans for your future, plans filled with hope, prosperity, and joy. You may not see it now, but I am preparing something incredible for you. Just hold on to your faith in me, and in time, you will see the blessings I have in store for you and your loved ones. Everything you are going through is leading you to a future filled with my goodness. Right now, take a moment to remember this truth. I love you deeply. My love will never fade or fail. If you believe in my everlasting love, type God's love is my strength. As you continue on this journey, know that the trials you face are not meaningless. They are lessons in disguise, shaping you into the person I've called you to be. You are becoming stronger, wiser, and more resilient because of the obstacles you've overcome. And when others see your faith in the midst of struggle, they are inspired. You are a light to those around you, showing them what it means to trust in me. Never forget that your perseverance is not overlooked. I see your loyalty, and I will continue to bless you for it. Your faithfulness brings me great joy, and as you remind me of the promises I've made to you, my heart is filled with delight. Keep reminding yourself and me of those promises. Speak them out loud and let them fill your heart with hope. My love for you is endless, and my desire to bless you is limitless. If you believe that my love will carry you through, right God's love will never fail me. Beloved, the difficulties you face are not without reason. Every trial, every challenge, has a purpose in your life. I know that sometimes it's hard to understand why you have to go through tough times, but trust me, they are shaping you into the person I know you can be. Each trial is like a stepping stone, taking you closer to the plans I have for your future. I want you to see your struggles not as obstacles, but as opportunities to grow. These are moments where your faith is strengthened, where your trust in me deepens. When you feel overwhelmed, remember that I am teaching you something valuable. Every lesson you learn through these challenges will prepare you for the blessings that are coming. You are never alone in your struggles. I am with you, guiding you and giving you the strength to endure. When others around you see how you handle adversity, they are inspired by your faith. Your journey is not just for you, it serves as a testimony to those who may be struggling themselves. You are a living example of what it means to persevere with faith in your heart. When you feel weak, lean on me. I will never leave you to face these trials alone. You may feel like you're on the edge of breaking, but I am holding you up. My strength is made perfect in your weakness. Trust me, even when you can't see the way forward. I am working behind the scenes, arranging everything for your good. If you trust me to turn your struggles into strength, 
type I trust God's plan for me. Your trials are not here to destroy you, they are here to build you. I know that sometimes it's hard to see the purpose in pain, but I am using every moment to mold you. These hardships are creating in you a resilience and a depth of character that nothing else can. One day, you will look back and see how far you've come, and you'll understand why you had to go through what you did. I see your faithfulness, and I will reward you for it. You stayed strong when it would have been easier to give up, and because of that, I will pour out blessings on you. You may not see them right away, but trust that they are coming. I have not forgotten you, and I never will. Your perseverance brings me great joy, and I am proud of the way you've remained steadfast in your faith. If you believe that blessings are coming your way, right God is faithful to bless me. My beloved child, as you walk through this life, never forget the importance of gratitude and humility. Many people forget to thank me when they are blessed. But you, my child, remember that every good thing in your life is a gift from me. I bless you out of love, not because of anything you have done, but because I care for you deeply. When you live with a heart of gratitude, you are keeping the door open for even more blessings to come. Humility is the key to receiving these blessings. When you stay humble, you recognize that it's not by your strength, but by my grace that you are where you are today. Many have allowed success to make them proud, forgetting to seek me in their moments of abundance. But I want your blessings to endure, and they will as long as you keep your heart humble before me. When you receive a blessing, the first thing you should do is give thanks. Thankfulness keeps you connected to me, reminding you that I am the source of all good things. It keeps your heart soft and your spirit open to receiving even more. I delight in your gratitude, and it brings me great joy to see you acknowledge the blessings I've poured into your life. But don't let gratitude stop with words. Show your thanks through action. Help others, share your blessings, and be a light in the lives of those around you. The more you give, the more I will give to you. When you are generous, you are reflecting my heart, and I will make sure that you are never in need. What you pour out in love, I will return to you in abundance. If you believe that a heart of gratitude brings more blessings, right, I am thankful for God's blessings. There will be moments when the world will try to pull you away from humility, making you believe that you deserve all the credit for your success. But I am asking you to stay grounded. Remember, it is I who have lifted you up, and it is I who will continue to do so. Keep your eyes on me and your heart humble, and I will continue to bless you beyond your wildest dreams. When you remain humble, you open the door to endless possibilities. There is no limit to what I can do in your life when you walk in humility and gratitude. My desire is to bless you, to prosper you, and to make your life a reflection of my goodness. But you must stay connected to me, always remembering that I am the source of all that you have. If you believe in staying humble before God, right, I will stay humble and grateful. My beloved child, I see how hard you try to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders. You strive to fix everything, solve every problem, and be strong all the time. But I want you to remember something important, you were never meant to do it all alone. I am here, and my strength is infinite. When you feel weak, come to me, and I will give you rest. When you face challenges that seem impossible, lean on me, and I will show you the way through. You don't have to rely solely on your own abilities. I have given you gifts and talents, but I am the one who strengthens you when the road gets tough. My strength is made perfect in your weakness. Don't be afraid to admit when you are struggling. I am not disappointed when you feel tired or overwhelmed. I am here to help you. When you are weary, I will renew your strength like the eagle's wings. Sometimes, the world tells you that asking for help is a sign of weakness. But with me, it's a sign of wisdom. 
It shows that you trust me to take care of you. I never meant for you to bear all your burdens alone. My hands are strong enough to carry what is too heavy for you. All you need to do is bring your worries to me and I will lift them from your heart. Let go of the need to control everything. I am in control and I am working for your good. Even when things don't go as planned, trust that I am guiding every step you take. My plans for you are perfect, even when they don't match your own. Relax in my love, knowing that I will provide for you, strengthen you, and protect you every day of your life. If you believe in God's strength, type I trust in God's strength. In every situation, whether big or small, remember that I am with you. My power is limitless, and I can do far more than you could ever ask or imagine. When you face a mountain, don't try to move it by yourself. Call on me, and I will move it for you. When you feel like you've reached the end of your strength, that's when my power shines through the most. I will be your shield, your fortress, and your helper in times of need. You are not meant to live a life of constant striving. There is peace in surrendering your burdens to me. Take a deep breath, release your worries, and know that I am holding everything in my hands. I care about every detail of your life. From the smallest concern to the greatest fear, I am with you, and I will see you through. My love for you is deep, and my strength will never fail you. If you believe that God will move your mountains, type God is my strength. My child, your faith has the power to move mountains. I see the times when your faith is tested, and yet you hold on, trusting me even when the outcome seems uncertain. That faith pleases me, and it is through faith that you will see incredible things unfold in your life. Faith is not about having all the answers, but about trusting me, even when you don't know what the future holds. I know it's not always easy to persevere when you are faced with trials. But every time you choose to trust me, even when things are difficult, you are growing stronger. Your faith is like a muscle, the more you use it, the more it grows. Don't be discouraged by setbacks, see them as opportunities to strengthen your faith. I am using every trial to build something beautiful in you. When you persevere in faith, you are not just surviving, you are thriving. Your faith sets you apart, and it opens the door to miracles. I see how hard you try, how much you push forward even when you are tired. Know that I am proud of your perseverance. Each time you choose faith over fear, you are choosing the path of victory. Keep going, my child, you are closer to your breakthrough than you think. In this journey, there will be moments when you feel like giving up. That's why I want you to lean on me the most. I am here to strengthen your faith and help you endure. Every step you take in faith brings you closer to the promises I have made for you. Hold on to those promises and don't let doubt or fear steal your joy. The blessings I have for you are just ahead. If you believe in the power of faith, type faith moves mountains. Your perseverance is not in vain. Every tear, every prayer, every step you take in faith is leading you to something greater. I see your efforts, and I am working on your behalf. Even when it seems like nothing is changing, trust that I am moving in ways you cannot yet see. Your faith is preparing the way for miracles, and in time, you will see them unfold. I am with you every step of the way. Stay strong in your faith, my child. Persevere, even when the road is long. I know the desires of your heart, and I am faithful to fulfill them in my perfect timing. Trust in me, and I will never let you down. Your faith is powerful, and it will carry you through every challenge. Don't give up now, the best is yet to come. If you believe that your faith will lead to miracles, Right, my faith brings miracles. My dear child, there is a freedom that comes when you choose to forgive. 
I know that sometimes it feels hard to let go of the pain others have caused you. But I am calling you to forgive, not because they deserve it, but because I want to set you free. Forgiveness is not about forgetting what happened, it's about releasing the burden so that you can move forward with peace in your heart. Holding on to anger and resentment only weighs you down. It keeps you from experiencing the full joy and peace that I have for you. When you forgive, you are not excusing what was done, but you are choosing to trust me to bring justice. I will take care of those who have wronged you. Your job is to release the hurt to me, and I will heal your heart. I know it's hard to forgive, especially when the pain is deep. But when you choose to forgive, you are choosing to let go of the chains that are holding you back. Forgiveness is for your own healing. It opens the door to my peace, a peace that passes all understanding. I want you to live in that peace, free from the burdens of the past. If you believe in the power of forgiveness, type I choose to forgive. Forgiving others doesn't mean that what they did was okay. It means that you are trusting me to handle it. You don't have to carry the weight of judgment or revenge. Let me take that from you. I see every wrong that has been done to you, and I will make things right in my time. Trust me to bring justice, and in the meantime, allow yourself to heal through forgiveness. When you forgive, you are releasing yourself from the control that the hurt has over you. You are setting yourself free to live in the fullness of my love and grace. Forgiveness is a gift you give yourself. It lifts the weight off your shoulders and allows you to move forward with a light heart. I am asking you to trust me and let go of the pain. If you believe that forgiveness brings freedom, right forgiveness sets me free. My beloved, you are not here by accident. Every moment of your life has been woven together with purpose. I created you with a specific plan in mind and I want you to walk in that purpose every day. You may not always know what the future holds, but trust that I have a plan for you, a plan to prosper you and not to harm you, a plan to give you hope in the future. There are gifts and talents that I have placed inside of you, waiting to be discovered and used for my glory. Don't doubt your worth or your ability. I have equipped you with everything you need to fulfill the purpose I have for your life. All you need to do is trust me and step out in faith. I will guide you every step of the way. Your purpose is not something you have to figure out all at once. It unfolds as you walk with me daily. As you seek me, I will reveal more and more of the path I have for you. It's a journey, and I am walking it with you. Don't rush the process, trust that I am working everything out for your good, even when you can't see the whole picture yet. If you believe that God has a purpose for you, type I am walking in God's purpose. There are days when you might feel lost, wondering if you are on the right path. But I am here to remind you that I am guiding you even in the moments of uncertainty. You are never alone in this journey. I am leading you and I will never let you go off track. Trust my timing and my direction and you will walk into the purpose I have set before you. Your purpose is not just about what you do, it's about who you are becoming. I am shaping you into the person I created you to be. As you walk in my purpose, you will find joy, fulfillment, and peace. You will know that your life has meaning because you are walking in the steps I have prepared for you. If you believe that God is guiding your steps, right, God is leading me to my purpose. My child, there is such peace in trusting my plan for your life. I know that sometimes you feel uncertain about the future, but I want you to remember that I have already seen what lies ahead. I am the author of your story, and I am working everything out for your good. You don't need to worry or fear, because I am in control, and I will never lead you astray. There will be times when my plan seems different from your own. You may have dreams and desires that you are holding on to, but I want you to trust that my timing and my ways are always perfect. 
When you let go of your need to control every detail and trust me fully, you open the door to blessings you never imagined. I am the God of abundance, and I want to bless you beyond your wildest dreams. When you trust in me, even when things don't make sense, you are showing faith. And it is through faith that you will see miracles. My child, do not be discouraged if things don't happen as quickly as you want. Remember that I am always working, even when you don't see it. My plan is unfolding in perfect timing, and the blessings that are coming your way will be worth the wait. If you believe that God's timing is perfect, type I trust God's plan for my life. I want you to know that every delay, every detour, is part of the journey I have designed for you. Sometimes, what looks like a setback is actually setting you up for something greater. You may not understand why things are happening the way they are, but trust me, I see the bigger picture. I am guiding you toward your destiny, and everything is falling into place according to my will. There is a reason for every season of your life. When you are in a season of waiting, I am preparing you for what's next. I am shaping you, refining you, and getting you ready to receive the blessings I have prepared for you. Trust the process, my child. I am with you in every moment, and I will never abandon you. If you trust that God's plan is better than your own, right, God's plan is perfect for me. Trusting me doesn't mean that you will never face challenges. But it does mean that no matter what comes your way, I will use it for your good. Even in the hardest times, I am working to bring beauty from the ashes. You may not see it right now, but trust that I am turning your struggles into victories. You are not fighting these battles alone. I am with you, and together, we will overcome. My child, one of the greatest gifts I have given you is your family. They are not in your life by chance. I have placed each of them with you for a reason. Family is a reflection of my love for you. It is a place where you can find support, encouragement, and strength. But family also requires care, nurturing, and love. Just as I love you unconditionally, I am calling you to love those closest to you with the same kind of deep, selfless love. Your family may not be perfect, and I understand that relationships can sometimes be challenging. But I want you to remember that love covers a multitude of imperfections. When you choose to love and forgive, you are reflecting my heart. Be patient with your loved ones and show them the same grace that I show you. Through love, healing can happen and bonds can be strengthened. It is easy to get caught up in the busyness of life, but I am asking you to make time for those you love. Invest in your relationships, nurture them and build them up. Your family is your greatest treasure and I want you to protect and cherish that treasure. When your family is united in love, you will experience a harmony that brings peace to your home. If you believe in the power of family, type I will cherish my family with God's love. Love is not just a feeling, it's an action. I am calling you to show love in your words and in your deeds. Speak kindness, offer encouragement, and be a source of comfort to those around you. When you choose to act in love, you are creating an atmosphere of peace and joy. Your family will be stronger because of the love that you pour into it. Remember, I am with you in your relationships. When you face struggles, bring them to me and I will help you navigate them. I will give you the wisdom and patience you need to resolve conflicts and to love even when it's difficult. Trust that I am working in the hearts of your family members, just as I am working in yours. If you believe that love brings healing, right, God's love heals my family. My dear child, I see the fears that sometimes creep into your heart. Fear of the unknown, fear of failure, fear of what lies ahead, these are burdens that weigh you down. But I want you to know this, you do not need to live in fear. I am with you, and I will never leave your side. When fear tries to take over, I am asking you to replace it with faith. 
faith in me, faith in my promises, and faith in the love I have for you. Fear is a tool that the enemy uses to keep you from stepping into the fullness of what I have for you. But you have nothing to fear because I am your protector. I am your shield, your fortress, and your refuge. When you feel afraid, come to me and I will give you peace. My peace is not like the world's peace. It is a peace that calms your soul even in the midst of the storm. You may feel like the challenges you are facing are too great, but remember that nothing is too difficult for me. I have already overcome the world, and because I am with you, you will overcome as well. Fear has no power over you when you stand in faith. Let your faith be stronger than your fear, and watch how I move in your life. If you believe that faith conquers fear, type I will choose faith over fear. I know that sometimes the future seems uncertain, and that uncertainty can make you anxious. But my child, I am asking you to trust me. I have gone ahead of you, and I am preparing the way. I will never lead you into something that I haven't already prepared you for. You may not know what tomorrow holds, but you know who holds tomorrow, and that is enough. Fear tells you to shrink back. But I am calling you to step forward in faith. I am calling you to face your challenges head on, knowing that I am with you every step of the way. You are not alone in this, I am fighting for you, and I will not let you fail. My child, trust me, and fear will lose its grip on you. If you believe that God is fighting for you, right God is my defender. Beloved, Joy is not something that depends on your circumstances. It is something that comes from knowing me and trusting in my goodness. I want you to live a life full of joy even when things are not going perfectly. Joy comes when you remember who I am and all that I have done for you. It is a deep, abiding happiness that nothing in this world can take away. Gratitude is the key to unlocking joy. When you take time to give thanks for the blessings in your life, no matter how small, you open the door for even more joy to fill your heart. I know that sometimes life is hard, and it can be difficult to see the good in the midst of struggle. But I am asking you to focus on the blessings you do have and trust that I am working to bring even more goodness into your life. If you believe that joy comes from gratitude, type I choose joy and gratitude. Each day, no matter what you face, choose to start with gratitude. Thank me for the gift of life, for the people who love you, and for the opportunities you have. Gratitude shifts your perspective and helps you see things through my eyes. It reminds you that even in the hard times, I am still good, and I am still working on your behalf. When you choose joy, you are choosing to live in my presence. Joy is not about denying the difficulties of life, but about trusting that I am bigger than those difficulties. It's about knowing that I am working everything out for your good and that nothing can separate you from my love. Joy is a gift that I give to you and I want you to live in it every day. If you believe that joy is a gift from God, right God's joy fills my heart. My dear child, every promise I have made to you is trustworthy and true. I am not a God who forgets or breaks promises. When I speak, my words are eternal and unchanging. I have promised you victory in every battle you face, and I want you to hold on to that promise, no matter what challenges come your way. There is no situation too difficult, no obstacle too great, that I cannot overcome on your behalf. I know there are moments when you feel like giving up, when the weight of the world seems too heavy to carry. But remember this, the victory is already yours. I have gone before you, and I have fought the battles you have yet to face. Every time you feel weary, turn to me. I will renew your strength, and I will remind you of the promises I have spoken over your life. My promises are your anchor in the storm. When the waves of life crash against you, Hold on to my word. I promise that I would never leave you, and I won't. I promise that I would provide for you, 
and I will. I promised that I would protect you, and I am. Stand firm on these promises, and let them be the foundation of your faith. If you believe in God's promises, type I trust in God's promises. The battles you face may be tough, but they are not stronger than my word. My word is living and active, sharper than any sword, and it will accomplish what I have sent it to do. So when you feel like the enemy is winning, speak my promises out loud. Declare my word over your situation and watch as things begin to change. My promises are not just words, they are the power that will lead you to victory. Victory doesn't always look like what you expect. Sometimes, it's simply having peace in the middle of a storm. Sometimes, it's seeing a relationship restored or finding strength in your weakest moment. Trust that I know the battles you are fighting, and I have already written the ending, and it ends in victory. You are not alone in this fight, and you never will be. If you believe that victory is already yours, right victory is mine in Jesus' name. My beloved, I see the wounds you carry. Some are physical, some are emotional, and others are spiritual. But I want you to know that I am the God who heals. There is nothing too broken that I cannot restore. My presence is a place of healing where you can come just as you are and I will make you whole again. You don't have to hide your pain from me. I know it all and I care deeply for you. When you feel weak, come to me. My arms are open wide and I am ready to comfort you. I understand the pain that others may not see and I am here to heal those wounds. Whether it's a broken heart, a wounded spirit, or an illness in your body, I am the source of healing. My power is limitless and I will bring restoration to every part of your life that feels broken. Healing is a process and sometimes it takes time. But trust that I am working even when you don't see immediate results. I am knitting your heart back together, piece by piece, and bringing you into a place of peace and wholeness. Trust me with your pain and let me work in you. Don't be discouraged by setbacks, healing is coming and it's already on its way. If you believe that God is your healer, type God is healing me. In my presence, there is fullness of joy and there is also healing. Every time you spend time with me, you are allowing me to work in your life. I am healing the wounds of the past, the scars that others have left behind. You don't need to carry those burdens anymore. Lay them at my feet and I will take them from you. Let my peace fill your heart and let my love heal every hurt. Your healing is not just for you. When others see how I have restored you, it will be a testimony to my goodness. You will be a light to those who are hurting, showing them that there is hope and healing in me. Your story of healing will inspire others to come to me and I will heal them as I have healed you. Trust in my power to restore and watch as I make all things new. If you believe that God can heal every part of your life, right God makes me whole. My child, I know that surrendering control can be difficult. You like to hold on to things, to try and manage everything on your own. But I am asking you to trust me enough to surrender. There is power in letting go, in placing everything in my hands. When you surrender your worries, your plans, your struggles to me, you allow me to work in ways you cannot even imagine. Surrender doesn't mean giving up. It means giving into my will and trusting that I know what's best for you. When you surrender to me, you are showing that you trust my plan more than your own. You are letting go of the need to control every detail and allowing me to take over. I know the future and I am already working out every detail for your good. I understand that surrender can feel scary. It requires faith, knowing that I will take care of everything. But remember this, I am for you, not against you. I want what is best for you, and my plans are always to prosper you, not to harm you. 
When you surrender to me, you are placing your life in the hands of the one who loves you more than anyone else ever could. If you believe in the power of surrender, type I surrender my life to God. When you let go and give me control, you will find peace. The way of trying to manage everything will lift off your shoulders and you will feel a freedom that only comes from trusting me. I am able to carry the burdens you were never meant to carry. Lay them down and watch how I turn your worries into joy, your stress into peace, and your fears into faith. Surrendering doesn't mean you stop caring about what happens, it means you stop worrying about it. It means trusting that I am in control and I will handle every situation in your life. The more you surrender, the more I can do in your life. My child, trust me enough to let go and see the amazing things I will do for you. If you believe that God's plan is better than yours, right? God's plan is my peace. My dear child, there will be moments in life when you feel weak, when the challenges in front of you seem too great to bear. But I want you to know that it is in your weakness that my strength is made perfect. You don't have to be strong all the time, that's my job. When you feel like you can't go on, come to me and I will give you the strength you need to keep moving forward. It's okay to admit that you are tired, that you are struggling. I am not disappointed in you when you feel weak. I am here to be your strength, to lift you up when you feel like you can't take another step. You were never meant to carry life's burdens on your own. Lean on me and I will carry you through every storm. I know the world tells you that strength means never showing weakness, but I am telling you the opposite. True strength comes from relying on me. When you are weak, I am strong in you. My grace is sufficient for you and my power is made perfect in your weakness. You don't have to pretend to be okay. Come to me just as you are and I will give you rest. If you believe that God is your strength, type God is my strength in weakness. I will renew your strength like the eagle's wings. You will run and not grow weary. You will walk and not faint. But to receive this strength, you must come to me. Spend time in my presence and let me fill you with the energy and courage you need to face each day. My strength is unlimited and I will never run out of it. Come to me and let me be the source of your strength. You are stronger than you think, not because of your own power, but because I am with you. Together, we can overcome anything. When you feel weak, remember that I am holding you up. You don't have to do this on your own. I am your strength, your refuge, and your ever-present help in times of trouble. Trust in me, and you will never run out of strength. If you believe that God's strength is enough, right? God's strength is my source. My beloved child, I see how often your heart is troubled with worries about the future. I know you carry concerns about your family, your finances, and your health. But I want you to understand that worry adds nothing to your life. It only robs you of the peace I want to give you. I am inviting you to lay down your worries and walk in the peace that comes from trusting me completely. The peace I give is not like the fleeting peace the world offers. It's a deep, lasting peace that remains even when everything around you seems chaotic. You don't need to have all the answers and you don't need to know what tomorrow holds. What you need to know is that I am in control and I will take care of you. You are safe in my hands and I will never leave you. When the worries of life try to overwhelm you, bring them to me. Let me carry your burdens. Cast all your cares upon me because I care for you deeply. You were not created to live in constant stress and anxiety. I want you to rest in the assurance that I am your provider, your protector, and your peace. I know every detail of your life and I am working all things for your good. If you believe that God will take care of you, type I choose peace over worry. 
There are moments when worry feels like the natural response, but I am asking you to choose faith instead. Worry doesn't change your circumstances, but faith does. When you trust me, you allow my peace to guard your heart and mind. Let go of the what ifs and the fears about what may come. I hold your future in my hands and I have already made a way for you. Do not let your heart be troubled, my child. My peace is available to you right now. Take a deep breath and let go of the anxious thoughts. Replace them with thoughts of my promises. Remember, I am your peace. When you are in my presence, you don't have to carry any burdens. Let my peace fill your heart and calm your mind. If you believe that God is your peace, right, God's peace fills my heart. My child, the words you speak have incredible power. I want you to understand that your words carry the ability to bring life or death into your circumstances. I created the universe with my words, and you, made in my image, also have the ability to shape your world through what you say. I am calling you to speak words of life, words of hope, and words of faith. There is no room for negativity or doubt in the words of my children. When you speak, let it be words that build up, not tear down. When you declare my promises over your life, you are aligning yourself with my will. You are giving power to the words that I have already spoken. Speak my truth into your situation and watch as things begin to change. When you face difficult situations, speak life over them. Speak hope when you feel hopeless, speak peace when there is chaos, and speak faith when you are surrounded by doubt. Your words are not empty, they are filled with power when you speak them in faith. Remember, you are not just talking into the air, you are speaking to the God who created everything, and I hear every word. If you believe in the power of your words, type I will speak life. Be mindful of the words you say, not only to yourself, but also to others. Your words can either bring healing or harm. Choose to speak words that lift others up. Encourage those around you and be a light in their lives through what you say. When you speak with kindness and love, you are reflecting my heart. Your words can be a source of healing to those who are hurting. I am asking you to be intentional about the way you speak. Guard your mouth from negativity and fear and instead declare my promises. When you speak, let it be with faith, knowing that I am listening and I am ready to act on your behalf. The power of life and death is in your tongue, so choose to speak life every day. If you believe that your words can change your life, right, I will speak life in faith. My beloved, I want you to live with a heart that is always full of gratitude. Gratitude is more than just saying thank you, it is a lifestyle of acknowledging my goodness in your life. When you live with gratitude, you are opening the door to even greater blessings. It pleases me when you notice the small and big ways I am working in your life. I know there are days when it feels hard to find reasons to be thankful, but even in those moments, I am still with you. There is always something to be grateful for. The air you breathe, the love of your family, the beauty of creation, these are all gifts from me. When you focus on what you have, instead of what you lack, your heart becomes a place of peace and joy. Gratitude shifts your perspective. It takes your eyes off the problems and places them on me, the one who can solve them. When you start your day with thanksgiving, you are setting the tone for the rest of the day. A grateful heart is a heart that is open to receive even more blessings. I want you to live in this state of gratitude because it brings you closer to me. If you believe in the power of gratitude, type I am thankful for God's blessings. Gratitude not only blesses you, but it also blesses those around you. When you are thankful, your attitude changes. You become more positive, more joyful, and more content. Others will notice the difference in you, and it will be a testimony of my goodness. 
Be the person who is quick to say thank you and watch as your life becomes richer because of it. Gratitude brings joy and joy brings strength. My joy is your strength and it flows from a heart that is thankful. The more you thank me, the more joy you will experience. I want you to live a life overflowing with joy, peace, and gratitude. Every time you give thanks, you are aligning your heart with mine and you are welcoming my presence into your life. If you believe that gratitude brings joy, right, I will live with a grateful heart. My dear child, I know that forgiveness can be hard. I see the pain you've experienced, the wounds that others have caused. But I'm calling you to forgive, not because it's easy, but because it's necessary for your healing. Forgiveness is a choice that frees you from the chains of bitterness and resentment. It allows you to move forward in peace, rather than being stuck in the past. I forgave you before you even asked for it. In the same way, I am asking you to extend that same grace to those who have wronged you. I know it's not always easy, but remember, forgiveness is not about excusing their behavior. It's about letting go of the hurt and trusting me to bring justice in my time. When you forgive, you are setting yourself free. Holding on to anger and bitterness only harms you. It blocks the flow of my peace and joy in your life. When you forgive, you open the door for me to heal your heart. I am asking you to let go of the pain, give it to me, and allow me to restore what has been broken. Trust that I will take care of the rest. If you believe in the power of forgiveness, type I choose to forgive. Forgiveness doesn't mean that what happened was okay. It means that you are trusting me to handle it. You are releasing the need for revenge or justice and placing it in my hands. I will take care of it, my child. You don't need to carry that burden any longer. Let me heal you and set you free from the pain. When you forgive, you reflect my heart. You show the world that love and grace are more powerful than hate and bitterness. Your willingness to forgive will inspire others to do the same. It is through forgiveness that true healing can happen, both for you and for those around you. Trust me, and let forgiveness lead you to a place of peace and freedom. If you believe that forgiveness sets you free, right forgiveness brings me peace. My beloved, you are here for a reason. I created you with a specific purpose in mind, and I have placed you in this world to fulfill that purpose. I know that sometimes you wonder if your life really matters, but I am here to tell you that it does. Every moment, every experience, every talent I have given you is part of the plan I have for your life. You are not here by accident. I have carefully crafted your journey, and every step you take is leading you closer to the destiny I have prepared for you. Your purpose is unique to you, no one else can fulfill it in the way that you can. I have equipped you with everything you need to live out the calling I have placed on your life. I am asking you to trust me with your purpose. You may not see the full picture yet, but I am guiding you every day. As you seek me, I will reveal more of the plan I have for you. I want you to walk confidently, knowing that I am with you and that I have a good plan for your future. Embrace the gifts I have given you and use them for my glory. If you believe that God has a purpose for your life, type I am walking in God's purpose. There will be moments when you doubt your abilities or feel uncertain about your path, but I am here to remind you that I am with you. I will strengthen you, guide you, and provide everything you need to fulfill your purpose. You are never alone in this journey. I am walking with you every step of the way, cheering you on and celebrating each victory. Your purpose is not just about what you do, it's about who you are becoming. I am shaping you into the person I created you to be, and through every experience, you are growing closer to the destiny I have planned for you. Trust me, my child, and walk in the purpose I have set before you with confidence and joy. 
If you believe that God's purpose is greater than your fears, right God's purpose will be fulfilled in my life. My beloved child, I know how much you desire to see things happen right away. There are dreams and promises that you hold close to your heart, and sometimes it feels like you've been waiting forever. But I want you to remember that my timing is perfect. I am never late, and I am never early. Everything I have planned for your life will happen exactly when it's supposed to, according to my perfect schedule. I understand that waiting can be difficult. It can test your patience and make you question whether things will ever change. But I am asking you to trust me, even in the waiting. Every delay, every moment that seems like nothing is happening, is actually part of the preparation. I am using this time to mold you, to strengthen you, and to get everything in place for the blessings that are coming your way. You see, my timing is not just about you, it's about everything around you. I am aligning circumstances, people, and events to come together at the perfect moment. If you receive something too soon, it may not last. But when you wait for my timing, you will receive what is lasting, what is best for you. Trust me, my child. I know what I'm doing, and I am always on time. If you believe in God's perfect timing, type I trust God's timing. While you wait, don't focus on what hasn't happened yet. Focus on what I'm doing in you during this time. There are lessons to be learned, growth to be achieved, and character to be built. I am preparing you for the very things you've been praying for. When the time is right, you will be ready to step into the blessings with confidence and strength. Waiting is not wasted time. It is a time of preparation, a time of growth, and a time to deepen your trust in me. Remember, I am always working, even when you don't see it. Trust in my timing, because I am never late. I am faithful to fulfill every promise I've made to you, and when the right time comes, you will see the fullness of my plans unfold. If you believe that God's timing is always right, right, I trust in God's perfect plan. My child, I know the temptations that come your way. I know the struggles you face when you are tempted to step off the path I have set before you. But I want you to know that you do not have to fight these battles alone. I am here, ready to give you the strength you need to overcome every temptation. When you are tempted, I will always provide a way out. Temptation is not a sign that you are weak or failing, it is part of the human experience. Even my son, Jesus, faced temptation, and yet he overcame. You, too, can overcome, not by your own strength, but by relying on mine. When temptation comes, turn to me. I will give you the wisdom and the power to resist. I am your shield and your fortress, and nothing is too strong for me. I understand how difficult it can be to resist certain temptations. But remember, temptation is temporary. The feelings that push you toward it will pass, and when you resist, you will grow stronger in your faith. Every time you say no to temptation, you are choosing me over the temporary pleasures of this world. And I promise you, my rewards are far greater than anything this world can offer. If you believe that God gives you strength to overcome temptation, type God is my strength. When you are faced with temptation, remember to call on my name. I will come to your aid, giving you the strength to stand firm. You are not alone in this battle, and you are not powerless. My spirit is within you, and he will guide you in every decision, giving you the discernment to choose what is right. Trust in me, and together, we will overcome. Each time you resist temptation, you are growing in your spiritual walk. You are becoming more like the person I created you to be, strong, courageous, and full of integrity. Don't be discouraged if you stumble from time to time. I am here to pick you up, dust you off, and help you keep moving forward. Keep your eyes on me, 
and you will walk in victory. If you believe that God is helping you to resist temptation, right with God, I will overcome. My dear child, I see the fears that try to hold you back. Fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of the unknown, these are all tools that the enemy uses to keep you from stepping into the life I have planned for you. But I am here to remind you that you do not need to live in fear. I have not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. When fear tries to take hold of your heart, remember that I am with you. There is no situation, no challenge, and no enemy that is greater than me. I am the God who created the universe, and I am on your side. You have nothing to fear because I am your protector, your provider, and your guide. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Fear only has the power you give it. When you focus on your fears, they grow larger in your mind. But when you focus on me, your fears shrink because you remember how great I am. I am bigger than your biggest fear, stronger than your greatest challenge, and more powerful than anything that comes against you. Keep your eyes on me, and let my peace fill your heart. If you believe that God is bigger than your fears, type I will not fear, for God is with me. Faith is the antidote to fear. When you walk in faith, you are trusting me to take care of everything. Faith says, I may not know what the future holds, but I know who holds my future. Faith says, even if I don't understand why this is happening, I trust that God is working it out for my good. Every time you choose faith over fear, you are taking a step closer to the life I have for you. Fear may knock on your door, but you don't have to let it in. Stand firm in your faith, knowing that I am your refuge. When you feel fear creeping in, speak my promises over your life. Declare that I am with you, that I am your strength, and that I will see you through. Fear cannot stand in the presence of my power and love. If you believe that faith conquers fear, right, I choose faith over fear. My beloved, you were not meant to live in chains. I sent my son, Jesus, to break every chain and set you free. You are not bound by your past, by your mistakes, or by the lies that the enemy has tried to tell you. You are free because I have declared you free. Through Christ, you have been given a new life, free from the power of sin and death. There is no longer any condemnation for you. When you accepted my son's sacrifice, you were made new. The old is gone, and the new has come. I want you to live in the freedom that Christ has given you. Don't let guilt, shame, or regret hold you back. I have already forgiven you, and I have washed you clean. You are free to walk in the fullness of my love and grace. The enemy will try to remind you of your past, to make you feel unworthy of my love. But I am here to tell you that your past no longer defines you. I have wiped it away, and I see you as my beloved child, pure and righteous in my sight. You are not bound by your past mistakes, and you don't need to carry that weight any longer. I have set you free. If you believe that Christ has set you free, type I am free in Christ. Freedom is not just about being free from sin, it's about living in the fullness of life that I have for you. I want you to live with joy, peace, and confidence, knowing that you are deeply loved and fully accepted by me. You are free to pursue your purpose, free to love others, and free to walk in the abundant life I have promised you. When the enemy tries to chain you with lies, remind him of the truth that Christ has set you free and you are no longer a slave to fear, sin, or shame. Walk in the freedom that I have given you, my child. You are no longer bound. You are free to be all that I created you to be and nothing can hold you back. If you believe in the freedom that Christ has given you, right, I am free and loved by God. My dear child, I created you to live in community with others. You were not meant to walk through life alone. 
There is strength in unity, and I have placed people in your life to support, encourage, and walk with you on this journey. Just as I am always with you, I have surrounded you with others who can lift you up when you are weak and celebrate with you in times of joy. The people I have placed in your life are there for a reason. Some will help you grow, others will challenge you, and still others will remind you of my love when you need it most. I want you to embrace the community I've given you, to love and serve those around you. You have something to give, and so do they. Together, you can accomplish so much more than you ever could on your own. There is power in unity. When two or three are gathered in my name, I am there with them. I have designed the body of Christ to work together, with each person playing a unique role. You are an important part of that body, and your gifts and talents are needed. Don't be afraid to lean on others and to let them lean on you. This is how I designed it to be. If you believe in the strength of community, type I will walk with my community in God. There will be times when you feel like isolating yourself, when the weight of life feels too heavy to share with others. But I am asking you not to carry your burdens alone. I have placed people in your life who care about you, and I want you to let them in. When you share your struggles, you lighten the load, and you allow others to be my hands and feet in your life. Community is not just about receiving, it's also about giving. Look for ways to serve those around you. Encourage them, pray for them, and be a light in their lives. When you love others, you are reflecting my love. Together, as one body, you will grow stronger, and you will see my love and grace at work in ways you never imagined. If you believe that God has placed the right people in your life, right I will support and love my community.